What I want to teach you in this video is, how to make a shape in Robot Studio. In this case, a circle. Knowing this, you will be able to make any type of shape. Also you will learn, how to repeat this shape in another place, change in this position using variables. These first steps, must be followed. We will generate a point, this point is the initial position of the tool. At the time of creating it, what we have to make sure is the following. Having a point, in this case p10, inside of tipo de variable, it has to be put as, de tipo variable. Then, to make the circle, we will not take the surrounding points. In this case, knowing the center, we will give the radius in another coordinate, and make the figure respect to it. In this way, if we move the center, the circle will continue in that new location. That is the objective of this exercise. To do this, we must enter in, datus de programma, the variables that we need. We will create three variables. Two of them, to give coordinates from the center. The other one, to change the position of the circle. We will create a variable, called, radiopose, with a positive value. If the value of the variable always has the same value, it will be of type, persistent or constanta. In this case, its value will be 50 millimeters. Let's create another variable, in this case called, radionegativo. Also this variable, will be constant and it will have a value of minus 50 millimeters. Finally, as in this exercise we will change the position only in one of the axes, we will need only one variable. Otherwise, depending on the number of axes on which the changes will occur, we would have to create a independent variables for each axis. If there were three axes, we would have to create three different variables. As we will only change the position on the x-axis, we will create a new variable. The value of this one, will depend on how much we want to move the circle. In this case 50 millimeters further forward in the x-axis. To program, you have to follow the next steps. As I tell you, more than once, instead of programming in the main program it is better to make, subroutines, or smaller programs. And then call them from the main program. Click on, Routines. And here click on, New Routine. We will call it, Zerkulua. Then go back to the main program and here it appears. To read what I program here, you have to be called from, main. So what I'm going to do, is the following. Type, move J, and click on the asterisk. In this value, it will indicate the starting point. In our case, instead of P10, which would be the starting point of the robot, using the offset, we will put the point away from P10 points on the x-axis. In this case, it is a point located 50 millimeters from the starting point, on the x-axis. This is where we will start the circle. To do this, click on functions. Then, click on, offs. By its rotation, instead of using this point, the distance we put in axes x, y, and z, will be added to the previous point. Therefore, the point to which the offset will be applied, will be P10. In the x-axis, we will put the radius distance. In the y-axis, we are not going to change, so 0. In the video it does not appear, but I have created another variable, that is 0. This is used when I need to put the value 0. On the z-axis, I will put 0, as well. So my first point, will be next. Using the offset, we will move the point P10, 50 millimeters forward, on the x-axis. 
we will not change the y and z axes. From there, we start the circle. To make the circle, we will use, the move C command. With this command, we will do the same. Click on the asterisk. Instead of putting value in each point, we put its offset through the variables. Regarding P10. In the X axis we will keep the same value, the value 0. In the Y axis, we will put, radio positivo. And in the Z axis, 0. The circle, ends with another quarter arc. Here, we have to do the same as the previous one. Click on functions, and then choose offs. Regarding P10, back quadrant on X axis, radio negativo on X, Y axis, 0. And finally in the Z axis, similar, 0. We have made a half circle. To finish the other half circle, we will copy the two previous commands, but modifying the points. It will be the point, with respect to P10. On the X axis, 0. On the Y axis, negative radius, that is minus 50 millimeters. And in the Z axis, 0. The last curve, will be to end, with respect to the starting point, on the P10. In the X axis, we will put radio postivo. In the Y and Z axis, 0 and 0. In this way, we could consider the circle as finished. Then, as I said before, we must call the main programs, the small subroutines. To do this, add instruction, and then click on Pro Call. We have to choose, which routines we want, and the program, will make the circle. Now, I will tell you, how to repeat this circle, starting from another point. What I've done for it, like the other circle, I've done it through point P10, I'm going to use this instruction to change two points, equal, its value to tell to P10. If then P10 does not appear here, we must say in the VAR, cambier tipo de dato, and from here, you will choose and like, rob target. Here, we make the offset again. Let it be with respect to P10. Only in this case, we will change it in the X axis. If you want to change it in other coordinates, it is possible to change it in other coordinates as well. Returning to our case, in the X axis, we would have to move 50 millimeters and in the Y and Z axis, 0. With this, we have taken our point, 50 millimeters from here in the X axis. If in the next step, we make a new call to the circle. With this one we will obtain the following. Repeat our circle, but completely displaced, 50 millimeters on the X axis. Now, we will see it in the simulation. The first thing to do, is to click on, PPA main and place the machine in Moto, Automatico. Also, you have to activate the motors, and the preparation, would have been finished. Finally, to start the simulation, click on the play button. To demonstrate again, With this, you will be able to perform all the exercises, in which the figures are repeated. I hope, you have understood everything. Do not hesitate to ask, in case of having any doubt. Thank you, and see you soon.